Hi everyone, it's Andrew. Welcome back to the channel. It is that time of month again where we show off exactly how much we have spent or bought um, of colouring books and supplies. I've bought a lot of books, 24 to be total, and a few supplies. Not a huge amount. I'm just collecting the supplies because uh, I forgot to get them while I was sorting out the book. So I won't be a sec. There's just one more item. Okay. Let's get started. So, um, as we are now out of lockdown, pretty much, the shops are all open and we can go and buy things. I went to the range. There wasn't much there, but I did buy some glitter glue. These are quite large ones, actually. Um, 120 millilitres. And they've got lots of different colours. I got five to start with. Me and Jennifer picked the colours. We picked one each and then we got one extra. So she picked blue, a dark blue and a silver. And I picked red and gold. And then because I want to do something in Johanna's Christmas in July, I bought green. So I've got the all the Christmas colours together. There are other colours and next time I go to the range I will pick them up. Now I've only played with the silver one but they're quite nice kind of like um oops she says knocking them all over i'll just uh, move them out way to use my big fat arm um kind of like stickles but in a bigger bottle but yeah they're really nice i'm gonna try and use them in something this month and then the only other supply i bought this month was the uh hoo-hoo pastel markers i think they're 48 and a, a blender so I have uh, swatched these and I have used them in a book just to see what they're like, only a few colours. And I really like them, so yeah, they'll be nice for anyone don't want to use bright colours on, say, necessarily on clothes or something. Because people don't always wear really bright colours and sometimes they like to wear pastels. But uh, yeah, I really like, like them. I don't plan on buying any supplies next month, I don't think, and the books are going to be limited. So let's look at the books. So of course, like everybody else in April, I got Worlds of Wonder by Johanna Bassford. I have started one in this. I haven't finished it. It's just the title page. I've started doing it. I haven't done much to it. I, I, I mean to. It's just so much going on. But I do like this book. Yeah, I love this tree one. I'm going to do this one, I think, next. But yeah, it's a really nice book. I'm sure you've all got it because, you know, why wouldn't you? <laughs> it's Johanna Bassford. I've got a cup of tea here I'm drinking. Uh, next, um, yeah, the reason there's 24 is because I had my bonus. I got uh, an older Deborah Muller book. I got Gothic Angels. <laughs> Tell this is one of the old ones because it's got the cover coloured by somebody else and it's got the white spine rather than the green one. But yeah, there's some nice pictures in here. I love Deborah Muller, so I'm just collecting a bit while, when I can. So every now and again, I add one to my car, and I decided to get that one. Got my first Carla Magana book, which is Hot Tropics. I saw this on somebody else's channel. I thought, wow, I really like that. Now, Carla Magana is one of those people, and sometimes I'm not really sure I like the picture, but this one I really like. So I think now I'm getting into that style. I love this mermaid. These are lovely and they're not too complicated, I don't think. So, I mean, I love that one. They're just fantastic, aren't they? Very clever. So, yeah, I really do like that book. I'm glad I got that. I'm looking forward to colouring in that one as soon as possible. I got Colouring Book Cafe Witch Colouring Book because I like witches. This is one of the smaller ones. So, as you can see, you've got samples on the back and I think there's two of each in this one, there usually is, potions, quite nice pictures, I'm going to look forward to doing this, I'm not going to leave this and, and wait till October and do it on Halloween, I will colour it before then because you can colour witches any time of the year, in my opinion, so there's that one. First the PDFs I've got are, is A Secret Village 3, and these are all, all the PDFs are Ava Brown uh, books and that's because I'm on their launch team, so I get a free PDF every time they launch one. I colour a picture, pop it on social media, on their site, 
write a review on Amazon and you know what I think of it so Secret Village I actually do love I think they're really cute pictures look at that isn't that adorable and I have done one from this one um, yeah so um, and they're not overpriced they're kind of like the Jade Summer books in that way another Ava Brown I got isn't one of the PDFs it's actually a physical book and that's Kawaii Girls Grayscale because I love these girls now and I'm looking forward to doing one in here I haven't done one yet but look I mean how gorgeous look at them I love these the singer they're just absolutely fantastic so yeah I'm gonna quite enjoy doing that one I think one of the books I didn't pick up for a while because I thought I was gonna be all American stuff is a Creative Haven's Main Street colouring book. Uh, this is Teresa Goodridge. Um, but when you look at the pictures inside, it could be a Main Street, is what they call it in America, but we call it a High Street. It could be a High Street in any, any, any part of the country, in any part of the world. There's a, a travel agent, a, a deli and restaurant, you know, a bakery, a, a, a cinema so yeah that's why i picked up there's some really great ones in there that i'm really looking forward to, to color in and i do like Teresa goodridge and i do like creative havens because you can use pencils or markers in them you can take the pictures out of the book if you want to and so on so yeah i like that one i got fairies grayscale by christine caron i think it's the first one of her books i've got i have got some of her images that are in like color in heaven um but i thought i would get a book and I'm, I really do like it and I plan on getting some more of it. That's so gorgeous, that cover page. I think they're, they're just beautiful. Whether or not I'll be actually able to do anything with them, I don't know. But I'll certainly give it a go. Look how gorgeous that is. And that one. I like that one. That one wouldn't be too difficult, to be honest, because it's nice and grayscale. The sky's already done for you. Um, you can do the stars if you want in the background and it's just her face really in the lilies so the color lilies another one from uh, ava brown this month was sweet treats coloring book so it's as it says it's desserts basically so i have done one from this there are a couple more i want to do i just haven't done them yet that's the thing i've got so many books and i want to do all the pictures in them but yeah, I have done one in this. Look at that, it's, that's so cute. And you know, they're a bit simpler than some of the others, but I really, really like, I really like them. I've got so many PDFs, I don't think the shelf's gonna fit them anymore. And I've got a pile of ones I want to do. Actually, I think I've put them back now. I'll just finish my tea, I'll get another drink after this video. Okay, I got the Curiosity Shop by Chris Price because I've got the sweet shop. Now this one I ordered from Amazon, but it did come from a third party seller. So I don't know, it might be out of print, but I love it. It's, it's so detailed. They're things I probably wouldn't want to do in here, but oh my God, it's so detailed. I will definitely be doing it. Look at that. It, it's this, that one is the one I am most likely to do because it's all film related <laughs> and cameras. I'm like, you know me, I love my cameras. So that's the curiosity shop. I finally got Whimsy Girls Celebrate the Holidays and Other fe and Festive Occasions by Hannah Lynn. This came out late last year, just before the holiday. And of course you got two of each picture, a simple one and a more in-depth one. But in this one, I think even the more in-depth ones aren't that bad. So I think one of my plans is for some of these books, the ones that have two of each, is I'm going to colour all the ones I want. Not so much in this one, because I probably will want to colour both of them. I'm going to, like the Jade Summer ones for instance, I will colour one of each and if I don't want to colour it again then I'll take the, my pictures out and put them in a folder and then give the rest of the book to Jennifer to colour when she's a bit older. It's a long way off yet yeah, but that's one of my plans. So that's Women's to Girls celebrate the holidays and other festive, uh, festive occasions. Another artist you know I like is Selena Fennec, so I finally picked up the new one of hers which is Dark Fantasy Grim and Gothic. Again, I think this came out just before Christmas. I love the feeling of these books, they're so soft and buttery. And again, quite detailed, but I do like that. I like using pencils in these books, but I, I, I've also used markers in some of them, and this one's like quite a 
curvy girl which is nice you don't often get curvy girls she's quite curvy as well but I like I like them I do like this book she's definitely nice and curvy that's me that is <laughs> but absolutely stunning artwork from her again I, I just love her work you know I picked up one Jade Sour book that I hadn't got this month and that was the Love Coloring book. Now I thought this was just going to be all affirmations but it's actually very simple. I thought it was just going to be things like that but it, it's not. It is actually lots of different types of simple pictures, cutesy stuff. So it's going to be quite easy to colour in I think so that's going to be a nice one just when I need to chill out and relax. I love you. Look at the bunnies. <laughs> I think they're great. I've got another Yam Puff book. I've got Yam Puff stuff. A uh, kawaii colouring book. So, yeah, as you know, I've got the the three books in one book. With a Dreams collection. Is it all the Sugar collection or Dreams collection or something? But this is another one. And, again, all cute pictures. Some of them aren't that difficult to colour. They're quite simple, which I like. Some of them are a bit more in detail. Look at I sitting in the tea. That's also me. <laughs> Not with the sugar though. <laughs> so gorgeous. I love them. But yeah, so that's those. So that's another book. So as you can see, I picked pretty much one book from each of the um, artists I like. Not all of them because there's so many. And I spent £100 for my bonus on books this month and still got more on top of that. I got this one, Thomas Lav uh, Thomas Lav Tomic. I'm not going to try and pronounce it like this. What is it? Spruchusjesbuzer. I'm I'm not sure, but it's the Villain San. It's the other one. I've got the first, the other book he did. Um, they didn't have Villain San, so I bought this version. It makes no difference to me. Again, beautifully detailed, gorgeous pictures. Some single sided, some double sided. If I remember rightly, when I was looking through it, yeah, there's a double sided one. I think this book is stunning. It's going to be a lot of work, but uh, I am going to enjoy it. So, you know, it's when you're feeling something you want to do something a bit more complicated. I've only done one out of the other books, so. Back to Ava Brown PDFs. Here's another one. This one is, I think there's another two after this one. Beautiful Birds. They are going on the Jade Summer Front. I'm putting out as many books as they can. So, and you can get if you buy the book you get two of each image obviously i've only printed out one of each but i could always do it again <clears throat> now this is the only one i haven't actually done anything on. i might do that one actually i have got one out to do with a peacock um it's not my favorite one i'm not big on coloring birds cute animals yes but <sighs> birds not you do get color test page now i just print up the whole thing in one go and normally i take those out and use them as under backing for books so i put them underneath the picture when i'm using um my markers Oh, there's books everywhere now. I finally picked up Spirit Animals. I got it. My Hannah Carls. And now, other than the other two that she's got coming out and The Greatest Hits Plus Eleven, which I haven't got to Guildford, I cannot pronounce these names. They're great names. Um, I have got them all. I know she's got um, another book coming out, which is Tales from the Forest or something. Something like that's called. Um, the, the other edition is out now, but I like to wait till the English edition comes out. And that's coming out in August. I got it on pre order. But that's all the ones that are out at the moment here. I And I love them. I've, I think this book is stunning. I haven't started it, but I will. I mean, the, the thing is, although they're double pages because it's the, the person and their spirit animal, you can do them as single-sided. You can do them as single images, except for perhaps this one, which it goes over two pages. But for instance, I could do that one and then leave that one for another, another month. But yeah, this is a beautiful book absolutely stunning I've got to put them all away yet that's going to be fun I got another Bennett Klein one I got Bloom because this is one I wanted when it came out and I never got it so I thought I'm going to go and get it you know um, so yeah I love this and some of these are complicated and, and, and oh look at that that is just gorgeous some of them are a little bit more a little easier like that one I, I just like the way the flowers are done in this. So, and the lion with his mate. I love that one. I love that one. That is just stunning. 
he's a brilliant artist and I do want to pick up some of the other books he's done mostly just the colour my sketchbooks because a lot of the ones with the subtitles are out of print which is fine next I've got a Maria Trollet book yes it's not Luna is the only one I haven't got now I did get Jerome Reese dream trip because I wanted to complete it so the collection so I did pick this these are mostly single sided again which is fantastic because you can use your markers in them if you want to cut this fox is beautiful I do want to do this one that will be pencils but I do want to do it I think that I think this is beautiful so I'm really pleased to add this to my, my Maria Trollet collection and the mermaid swimming with the girl it's beautiful I think it's a beautiful dream trip. It's, it's stunning. I really like it. I'm so pleased I picked it up. I do love these gorgeous hardback books. Look at the gold foiling on her dress. It really shows up nicely on this camera. There we go. We've still got a few more to go. Next one. Ava Brown, Secret Garden 3. Again, I think I've done one from this one. Again, this is really sweet little images. You've got the cat on the bench and the fantasy gate. Um, <laughs> look at that, it's, like a, it's a snail house. It's just, a, they're just, these are really sweet. And it's like an old teapot with a snail on it almost. It's just, they are very sweet pictures. A little swing and that one. Love it. I think these are amazing. So that's a really nice book actually for me for Brown. I will be honest if I'm not keen like the birds one I said it's not my favourite. I'll, I'll be honest I'll tell you um, just because I, I'm not keen on birds. That'll change. Everything always changes with me and I go on some very like steam spunk spunk special. I can't even speak. The steam spunk steampunk special from Colour in Heaven which is Dawn and Matt Davidson or Matt and Dawn Davidson. I've done one in this one, we did it on a colouring chat, but there are so, oh, look at that. There are so many gorgeous ones. I do want to do the Wizard of Oz one in here. That's one we did. But yeah, absolutely, look at that, it's so cute. It's like a little artful dodger, isn't he? He's a steampunk artful dodger, I think. I don't know what she called him. It is a him as well. Erin's boy, I think it's the artful dodger. So yeah, that's a really, really nice one. Um, again, I'm really pleased with all the books I've got um, from Colour in Heaven again this year, even if I haven't coloured in them all. And I haven't. There's a few I haven't coloured in. Um, and there's a few I've got whips in that I need to do. Near the end now, I've only got uh, one, two, three, four to go. Next one is, I saw this on somebody's channel, Fiercely Gorgeous by Evelyn Liza or Evelyn Liza. Again, I think there's two of each and it's sort of semi grayscale. And it's just women's faces with a flowery background. Now, I love the pictures, but I personally, I don't like the background. I think it's overpowering. It takes focus away from the person, especially some of them like this. It just sort of looks, it doesn't look right. So with some of the ones where I, that looks like Courtney Love actually. No, uh, where I'm doing it if I don't like the flowers I'm just going to black out the background with black marker or uh, acrylic black paint um, and I think then it'll just look like a photo you know like you have a photograph like a headshot on the back black background like actors have I think that look quite nice but it is the beautiful pictures I just not keen on the flowery backgrounds <laughs> Another one I saw on somebody's channel, or I know actually I think I saw this one on Facebook is Pin Up Models by Demita Victoria as light grayscale as you know I love anything to do with pinups in the 50s and that sort of style of 40s and this is that kind of book so there's two sets of each and it is very light grayscale but look it's gorgeous who wouldn't want to color these I am so looking forward to getting started on these these are stunning look at that Can you imagine coloring all those bricks individually <laughs> Ah, oh, look at that, Italian restaurant and she's leaning over with her gorgeous shorts and her heels. These are my kind of girls. This is how I would dress if I was thin. <laughs> I'm not, believe me, but I really, this is, oh, I need to colour in this one soon. Next I've got 50 Nighttime Mandalas by Camellia Angel Cover. As you know, again, I love, I love these patterns. That These ones are quite really details but I love uh, coming in at night in bed when I'm watching TV 
or if I'm downstairs with Paul watching, he's watching football, which he's doing right now, and I'm sitting down there with him, I just listen to an audiobook or some music. I love that one. Apart from the little ones, they do my head in. But I'll manage on this one. I just love them. I love colouring them, and I love the fact they've got the black background so I don't have to black it out myself. <laughs> which I have been known to do. Gosh, this video is 20 minutes long. I've got one more book to show you. So, oh! And that is the last uh, Ava Brand, which for the first time, they actually sent it with a copy of the cover, which is great, so I can put that in my folder. And this one is Bring Animals Colouring Book. I have picked one out of here to colour, but I haven't done it yet. It's my next one to do, and I'm really excited, because these are so cute. I mean, look. Butterflies. Birds again, not my favourite, but and, and sort of um, bees or wasps, little sheep. This one I think I might want to do, the duck and her little duckies, her ducklings, they are gorgeous, so cute. There we are, grasshoppers, that's quite a nice bird one. Uh, there you go. So there's that one. So those are the 24 books I got in April. I will not be spending as much on them in May. I do want to try and save a bit of money. Obviously I will still get my Colour in Heaven. I haven't picked up the Relax With Arts this month because I haven't been to the shop. I might go to that shop this weekend if I do pick them up. If not it'll be when I go next if they're in. Um, I might order Luna, but I'm going to try and stop ordering books unless it's something I desperately want. I know Jade Summer is planning some new releases. I do want to pick them up when they're on their cheaper offer, so I'm going to stay away from ordering too much. I want to try and save some money for when I'm on holiday. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Now, if you want to see me colouring any of these books, leave me a comment down below saying colouring chat and the name of the book. Um, if you want to see a flip through, let me know which book you want to do flip through for. I've filmed some of them already, but I haven't put them up. So just let me know and I will put them up straight away for you. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed this huge haul. It's been a great month for buying books, thanks to my bonuses at work, which I'm very lucky to have. And I know when I bought my desk and I will see you in the next video very, very soon. Bye everybody.